So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 8 of the Chelsea career mode and as you just saw from that clip just before Neymar did get announced player of the month so that's absolutely incredible and also what I'd like to say as well these episodes I have got at the moment I've got up to episode 10 ready so people that aren't le leaving suggestions on the videos I'm hugely grateful for that and just the, to let you know that it from episode 11 onwards is when I'm going to be trying out the new things like for example some people have suggested that there's some good um, formations I should try um, some few good players I should have a look at in the January transfer window so they're all going to be in episode 11 probably oh, well, apart from the transfers I can't buy anyone at the moment and we did have our first game here up against Norwich at home in the Barclays Premier League and from last episode we were doing reasonably well to be honest we we played some good games we played Arsenal we beat Arsenal 2-0 which was very good and um, as you see there Neymar in the picture with his um, oh, what's it called his player of the month which I was very pleased about that one of my players got managed to get main uh, man of the month or player of the month because Neymar has been the one that's been scoring the huge majority of my goals and Lewis Murray hasn't really been doing much so far and as I said in the last episode Ashley Cole has been playing diabolical but since I've been playing with him more he's been progressing more and more and more and I'm beginning to like him even more and Neymar here on the edge of the box goes around the defenders, cuts back inside, has a good shot but the keeper makes a very good save Mario tries to win the header but unfortunately doesn't, doesn't win the header and the ball gets cleared and they go up the other end of the field through Johnson they have a reasonably good shot but Peter Cech makes a reasonably good save and look at that for a throw in to Neymar Murray out here on the ball um, but we do then get dispossessed and in this in the second half Norwich did have their opportunities they were through but Cech with an absolutely wonderful save there denying them and he gave the throw the ball out but they did deflect it but we were okay and um, they did then hit the outside of the post through Holt there which was a reasonably good header but Czech I think had that covered which was good and Juan Mata here gets the ball he uh, plays a nice ball to Muriel Muriel plays another or plays a fake shot tries to go around the defender but Oscar plays a lovely ball to Bertrand there Bertrand comes back comes on his inside, plays the ball to Oscar, Oscar plays it to Mario, Mario goes past a few players, has a good shot but it does get deflected, Hazard then is on the ball, has another good shot, it gets deflected and they do then get the ball cleared until Juan Mata, Juan Mata has a good shot there but the keeper makes a very very good save there, dive into his left hand side to save that and we do put the corner in but unfortunately no one can get our head on it and they do manage to clear the ball. They only manage to clear the ball up to Oxley chamberlain who has a bullet of a shot which does make pull off another very good save from the goalkeeper. Um, we do put another corner in, and this time they do clear the ball up to Mario. Mario wins the ball, but unfortunately that was it. Neymar then cuts back inside, and with a beautiful shot into the back of the net there in the 77th minute, to put us 1-0 up against Norwich, which we were absolutely delighted about, and the fans went absolutely mad, because this goal was a very important goal to us as Neymar has been getting a few goals and he's just proven that he is player of the season and that goal was what won it for me as we did hold on there for the last 13 minutes to win 1-0 against Norwich at home which was a good result even though we're not scoring many it seems like we're still getting the good results which I'm happy about but we seem to be scoring more goals against the better teams but anyway it doesn't matter uh, Neymar there with an 8.5 rating and a man of the match. Uh, Liverpool did actually beat Stoke, Manchester City beat Sunderland and they were only the big games to be honest. Southampton lost against Fulham but Manchester City are running away with it in the league now. As you see from the league table uh, coming up on uh, it's the actually Champions Cup table it's showing now. But um, as we advanced even further we did get Chelsea was just showing how, just how good Mourinho is. And then we got another one straight after, these all straight after, not bad but not great, Declare Zuma. Um, and then there is also another one saying that how good, um, just Chelsea show how good Neymar is and uh, how good Adrian in as Adrian is and how good um, Oxley chamberlain is. So we've got lots of emails saying how good our players were there which I was very pleased about, that my players are being recognised 
and that Luis Murillo then come back to say that he wasn't happy with his wage. He said that he wanted more, uh, so I then did decide because he was a good player. But the reason is I just brought him. So why would he accept the offer if he's not very happy? If he's not very happy. So we do then go into the contracts and we offer him a new deal. As you see, we're going down the squads here. And we offer him a new deal for Murray, who's on 45,000. He is on quite a little bit. And we do then, he says he wants his one year contract and 70,000. But we did give him, we decided to give him 65,000 and five years. But I, we did then get the um, email back saying that he declined the offer. And when we went back in to offer him a new contract, it then said that he. Well, it wouldn't even let me negotiate with him because of some stupid reason saying that currently uh, he is he rejected your bid, God knows what else it said. Actually, their contract demands not met. And when I tried to click on it, it just says wouldn't let me. And Victor Moses also sends me an email saying that he's really enjoying his football and that thank you for playing him, to be honest. So it's good that all my players are starting to realise that they're part of the team and they're getting recognised by the media. But then we did have a match up against Benfica at home in the Champions Cup. And we actually haven't lost a game in the Champions Cup yet. And we hope to continue that way. We haven't won all of them. We have drawn some. I believe we've drawn one, I believe. But we do go on and we make some substitutions. Because we did have a game against Spurs after this. We decided to bring Kurt Zuma on. Take David Luiz off. And... We also decided to put Frank Lampard on for Oscar, which um, Frank Lampard, even though he's old, he's a very good player. And we decided also to put Victor Moses on for Oxlade Chamberlain. And that's all the changes, I believe. I don't believe that we made any more changes for this game, or apart from we did play Adrian instead of Juan Mata. So. Then we decided because Neymar, uh, because Mario wanted his things, I was going to strip him of the captaincy because I'm not having my captains wanting more wages like that. So he wasn't going to be the captain anymore, and it was going to be Sabotic that was going to be the captain, as he is a newly brought player, but he has proved himself that he is an absolutely world class defender. So that's a player that I'd recommend to you to go and buy in your career modes, and also let me know like when you do your career modes, do you just do one career mode? Like when FIFA 13 came out, have you just done one career mode from then and just carry on to like 2022 or something like that? Or do you just like just play with a, with a few clubs like with Chelsea, uh, Tottenham, Manchester United, Barcelona, Real Madrid? I don't know. But do you play with quite a few different teams or or what? I'm just curious of that. And as you see there, Kurt Zuma does return from his injury, which was good because he is a key player for us, even though he's not the best to be honest at positioning that's his only weak point but he's got brilliant strength got good sprint speed and wins everything in the air which is good but then straight from the kickoff here Benfica goes straight up the pitch through Lima uh, they play a nice ball to sell uh, to Perez Perez plays a lovely ball over to Pereira they put a lovely ball in the box here first time and Czech does come out to punch the ball which we had a nervy start there but they do then go on the attack once again in the 45th minute. And they put a lovely through ball through to Gaitan there. He play a nice ball across. But Czech makes a very good save. We do manage to block the shot. And Czech collects the rebound there. And takes a nice throw in. But in the second half they were through. Through Cardozo. And Cardozo with a good shot there. But Peter Czech once again matching it with a brilliant save. Um, to deny them from scoring once again. And Neymar here coming back inside. Takes a very good shot, but the keeper matches Peter Cech and matches Neymar's shot with a brilliant save. And Lampard does decide to put the ball in with a curling effect. And Sabotic tries to get his head on it, but they do then manage to get the ball clear. But Hazard on the edge of the box here in the 75th minute has a good shot there. The keeper makes a good save and it does then go out for a corner kick. So Lampard puts a lovely ball in the box and Muriel up highest right into the corner there. With a brilliant goal in the 77th minute, just like we saw in the 77th minute against Norwich. So, for some reason, it looks like we like scoring in the 77th minute, which I'm very proud about. That we actually keep fighting towards the end, and we seem to get most of our goals towards the end of games. Because I think it's our stamina. But then, in the 82nd minute, Lehman was through as a shot there. A brilliant shot. Peter Cech couldn't save that one. And they brought the scoreline back to 1-1. 
which I wasn't that happy about because it was only five minutes uh, or six minutes after that they had just scored or after I had just scored. So I wasn't that happy. But then Adrian got the ball, played it to Mario. Mario played a lovely ball through, played a nice ball to Adrian. Adrian gets a lucky deflection. Neymar takes a shot and he threw on goal and decides to take a little cheeky chip into the back of the net there to put us back in the lead. As you see, they keep makes a very good save, but Neymar here with a lovely cheeky chip that chips into the back of the net there in the 89th minute, which did declare the win. And Neymar here, look at this for a shot. But the keeper makes an absolutely outstanding save there. So he pushed the ball out wide. But Hazard does collect the ball once again. He cuts back inside, plays the ball to Adrian. Adrian to Lampard. Lampard plays a nice ball to Muriel. Muriel on the edge of the wing and does get deep possessed of the ball. And they managed to clear the ball. But that was it. We actually won 2-1 against Benfica at Stamford Bridge, which we were happy about. And as you can see here, Neymar got an 8.8 .8 rating, but he still did not get man of the match, which is a little bit unlikely. But and Neymar's amazing performances just state once again in the media. But we had a very hard game coming up here against Tottenham Hot Spurs and the great return for Zuma and Super Moses in form. So it was a very hard game for us here. We were up against Tottenham, as you see here. They were second in the league with they had liked Gareth Bale, Dembele, Hugo, Yoris. They had them all. They were just an absolutely incredible side with Asua Kotova, Tongan, Lennon. They were just going to terrorise me pretty much all day long. But Hazard here cuts back inside and makes a brilliant shot. But how the hell does Hugo Yoris save that? Keepers aren't supposed to save them, to be honest. But Oscar puts a lovely ball in the box here. So Botic tries to get up first, but unfortunately doesn't. Zuma takes a good shot, but... The ball does get reflected. We do get the ball back through Hazard, but we don't manage to clear the ball. Lennon here had a good shot, but unfortunately, Peter Cech, he saves it, but I think because the ball was wet, it slipped underneath his arm and bounced in to put Tottenham 1-0 up through Aaron Lennon. From his replay here, you can see Peter Cech would normally save that. But Neymar here, it plays a lovely ball to Muriel. Muriel have a good shot, but once again, a brilliant save by Hugo Joris. But we did get a penalty. We got a penalty. Lewis Maria was going up to stake it as he won it. I should have let Neymar take it because this is not how to take a penalty. Or it was a reasonably good penalty, but Hugo Euros once again matching it, went the right way and pulled off a brilliant save to deny us. But they went straight on the attack in the 62nd minute through Lennon, played a lovely ball to Defoe. Defoe their first touch into the back of the net, lets the ball run across his body with his left foot, side foot into the back of the net. In the 63rd minute, he pulled us 2 0 down against Tottenham so it but but we did get a chance through Neymar here but Hugo Joris makes a lovely save and Hazard has a good shot there but Joris once again was there to deny the ball but in the 90th minute Sabotic does get actually get the ball we play it through to Cole Cole to Hazard Hazard plays it into Neymar Neymar uses his quick feet dances past that defender dances past another one dances past another one has a brilliant shot which does find its way into the back of the net in the 90th minute but it turned out only to be a consolation goal, as we did then still lose 2-1 against Tottenham. We did click the ball, and we were hoping that we could try and get another chance, or just try and get the ball back before the referee blew the whistle. As you see, it was a good goal, but that was how it finished. As you see there, Defoe and Lennon both getting the goals, and Neymar got one right at the end of the 90th minute to get a consolation, and Neymar got an 8.6 rating. So there we come to the end of this episode, so please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And uh, that's it really, so bye bye. Yeah.